Right guys, bargain store project time again. Pick this up. Uh, can't remember. Pound land, pound world, 99p store. One of them. They all charge the same price. So uh, anyway, doorbell, wall mountable, battery powered. Change the tunes by pressing the button. I've no idea what I'm going to make with it. I just thought it looked interesting. Well, if nothing else, we've got a handy battery compartment. Let's try some of these old batteries. fun, wasn't it? I think I'll be having my wife complain in a minute. I'll better go and shut the doors. Okay, I've shut the door so I shouldn't get any complaints. we got six crosshead screws holding it together. I'm guessing that it changes the tune each time you press the button. some quiet now. To be honest, my first thought is just to make a simple little electric car with this. Just use it as the chassis, stick an electric motor on it use the button to start it and stop it. Not use any of the uh, bell circuitry at all. So we'll see. And then possibly use that bell circuit for something totally different in another project. I love it. You can't be much uh, simpler than that. Nice little circuit board with our favourite black blob to control it. An LED resistor to protect the LED. Reasonable size speaker and our wire and switch. So as I say, I think I might just make that a very simple electric car. Save the little circuit board for something totally different. Save the speaker for something totally different. And just have a, a button to turn a motor on and off. Nice and simple. Let's do an easy one for a change. Right, the only question now is what electric motor I'll use and what wheels. I'm quite keen to use this little electric motor and the gear 
that comes with it because that came out of this crawler bot kit that I made uh, earlier this year. I was very pleased with it. It was a proper little kit. Um, did it with my grandson, although to be honest I think I probably did most of it because he was a little bit young to get involved in it. But he did it and it worked. But I'm just rather keen to see if I can use the, the gear wheel and the worm gear as it's called. See if I can fit them in there. Should be quite easy. So I think we'll do that rather than making another pulley system. I like making the pulley systems, they're nice and easy, but being as I've got this, I think I'll use it. For the benefit of my friends who like these black blobs, the switch is on those two white wires. There's also a small capacitor going across the switch. One leg of the power goes onto that inner of the two white legs. The LED and the speaker are on these two black legs and also the other side of the power comes in on there. No idea what that resistor is for but each of those solder terminals has a bit of circuit that goes into the black blob so there's actually six paths or circuits going into the black blob. So I say that's purely for the benefit of those people who like to look at these black blobs and try and work out what they actually do. I mean obviously whatever it does do, it's triggered by the the white legs, that's the manual switch. That switch is on and somewhere in that black blob it's got a bit of memory that's actually recorded the tunes that it plays. And what's it? it played about eight different, no, twelve musical tunes that plays. So there's memory in there for twelve tunes and also whatever there is to drive the um, speakers. Right, so the speaker, the circuit board and the LED will be going into my spare parts box and we're just going to use the case, the battery compartment and the push switch and then that electric motor and gear to make a very simple little car. Right, so we're going to use this gear to drive the axle. I'm going to stick it right in the middle somewhere. And if I use these lines that are already marked in the casing, I'll actually use that one. I've marked both, but I'm going to use the second one in. That should give us clearance all round. Do something similar at the front. I'll cut a little little slot there somewhere for the cog to stick through and then the motor just sits straight on top. And that'll be it. Right, that's the back axle positioned. Need to cut a slot out of there and also trim that little bit on the bottom because it's just touching the bottom of the casing at the moment. So I'll trim that out of the way. Right, let's cut the slots so that we got clearance. Need to drill a couple of holes for the front axle as well. Glue him in place. Put 
the remote switch and away we go. Oh, and fit some wheels on it, obviously. Right, that's the wheels. So I shall now hot glue the motor right there. And then we'll wire it up. Right, done my s circuitry, which is pretty simple. We've got our switch. One side of the switch goes to the positive of the battery. All the way through the switch, back out, through the lid, to one side of the electric motor, which I've marked as positive. The other side of the electric motor goes underneath and connects to the negative of the battery. Press the button, and the motor runs. So now all I need to do is screw that back in place and away we go. Right then, time for a test run. Press the button. That looks like that works. Press the button. That should keep my grandson happy for a few minutes. Okay, time for a quick recap. Um, where's my plastic package? Okay. This was a doorbell. Twelve musical tunes. Soon got rid of them. Uh, carries three AAA batteries. I've gutted it. Taken all the bits and pieces out of it. Not that there was much in there. Just a little electric circuit board and a loudspeaker. I've got a salvaged electric motor on there with a worm gear and a cog that's attached to the axle. The wheels are made from VHS video cassette spools. I quite like using them because they're quite small and lightweight. And all we're doing here is we've got a push button that connects the circuit through from the three AAA batteries that are in the battery box there to the electric motor. And that's it. That should be simple enough for virtually anybody to make. Um, and if you don't have a worm gear and a cog then stick the motor over on the side here and put some pulleys on like I have on just about all the other electric cars that I've made. But being as I'd salvaged that one out of another uh, project kit I just thought I'd use it and I like the result. just occurred to me that if I turned it over it looks more like a doorbell so uh, you can see what it does then.